In this video, we'll take a brief tour to explore version 10 of mPanel Shade Designer. We'll start with a hidden new feature, which can be helpful when sometimes you open files with materials that are not in your database. Also, if your antivirus software notifies you that Shade Designer is attempting to connect to the license server. When this happens, Shade Designer's splash screen can cover these messages up. So to address this, we've added the ability to click and drag the splash screen during startup to a location away from the center of the screen where other prompts will typically be displayed. Once inside the program, the first distinctive change is the program now sports a more efficient and intuitive ribbon interface for all functions. Beside the visual change, some features which you previously accessed from menus are now found on associated tabs. Let's go through some examples. The database functions, such as add materials and edit the databases, are all now found on the materials tab. Import Poltop DXF files is now found on the measurements tab. Exporting models in DXF or OBJ format or for SketchUp is now found on the Visualization tab. Exporting panels for plotters are now found on the Fabric Pattern tab. The Supplier Setup area to put in your logo and company name can be found on the Visualization Reports tab. By far the most noticeable change is the significant upgrade to an entirely new and powerful high resolution user interface providing high quality design workspace and visualization reports. Let's explore the visualization and navigation tools going from left to right. First thing to know is that you can cancel any of these tools by right clicking on your mouse. The Home button will take us back to this Home view at any time. So regardless of what orientation the model is in, this will always bring us back to the same place. The Magnify Glass simulates a zoomed magnifying glass view of a particular area. And as you move the mouse around, the view moves with the mouse. The Zoom window allows you to define the zoom area. Zoom allows you to zoom in and out while holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse. The pan tool allows you to move the model while holding down the left mouse button. And the rotate tool allows you to rotate the model again while holding down the left mouse button. Zoom to fit will zoom the model out to the available window space. Now over on the right, we have a new navigation tool which offers a few functions. We can click on a face or an edge of this cube to switch views. Or we can left click on the mouse and drag this view bar around the cube to rotate the view. We also have a new view settings tool, which allows a perspective view, which offers a more dramatic and realistic view of the model. Set your own visualization report view. Let's rotate the model, then set this view. Now we can see this new view angle in the visualization report. We also now have control over lighting conditions, which is useful um, to adjust for different machines. Finally, the new graphic interface can cause compatibility issues with older machines. So we've added controls to allow you to adjust the software to work with them. If you're using a computer which doesn't support OpenGL, um, 
we need version 2 or higher, or has limited graphics capacity, then you can change to DirectX or turn off hardware acceleration. Thank you for watching. For more examples and tutorials, please go to mpanel.com or search for mpanel on YouTube and subscribe to our video channel.